am going to be doing a haul slash review on the Galactic Beauty products. I posted an Instagram post and you guys really liked that post and I even had one of my subscribers ask if I could do a review on these products so I said of course I could do a review on these. So I just went back to Rite Aid and purchased a few more so that way I can show you guys more swatches of this stuff. And before we get into the haul review I just wanted to show you guys some new jewelry that I got. These are absolutely gorgeous. I got this necklace and these earrings and this really cute ring. And what it is, it's a subscription box service to Roxbox. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love the idea of the subscription box service. You guys know I love my subscription box services. So this one's really cool. Basically, it is $19 a month. They send you three pieces of jewelry that equals out to $200 worth. And you can hold on to it as long as you want. There is no deadline to sending these pieces back, and if you decide that you want to keep one of the pieces, they will just charge you for that piece and you can keep it, which is awesome. And it's already at a discounted price as well, and you get $10 a month toward any pieces that you want to keep, which is cool. So you get $10 off of anything. That's awesome. And they also gave me a code for you guys if you guys want to try it out. You can get your first month free and the code is madison89millerxoxo. I will have it linked down below for you guys so you guys can check that out but it basically gives you one month free so you guys can try it out to see if you like it and this is what the box comes in so it comes in a really really cute box you guys like look how adorable that is so you just open it up and that's what the inside looks like I obviously have already opened mine up and they have all the jewelry bags inside, as you guys can see. And they just basically give you a card inside. And it basically just tells you the ins and outs of what the subscription box service is. And then they also give you another card telling you what you got and how much it's worth. So as you guys see, I got this ring right here. It is super cute. Oh my god, I'm in love. And it's called the Wonderlust Company ring. It's an X double gold ring. And the original price of it is $35, but I could get it for $28. And then I also got this Gorgiana, Gorgiana necklace. And it is originally $80, and so I get it for $64. And you guys, I love Gorgiana. I think that's how you say it. I always butcher every name. But I buy it at Nordstrom's a lot. So when I saw that, I was like, heck yes. And then I got some Kendra Scott earrings and they are originally $55 and I can get them for $44, which is awesome. So I love Kendra Scott as well. As you guys know, that's a really popular jewelry line right now because it's very reasonable. So that's what I love about this subscription box service is that you get some really good jewelry, stuff that I buy already from Nordstrom's. So I would definitely recommend this site to you guys. I think it's a great idea. And I love that you don't have a timeline of when to return it. So it's only $19 a month awesome. You get $10 off any products that you want to keep. And if you use that code that I gave you, you'll get your first month free so you guys can try it out. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. I would love to know your guys' input. I think it's a great subscription box service, so I hope you guys do as well. But now let's just go ahead and get into the haul. All right, so as you guys can see, I purchased a ton from Girlactic and the places where you can buy Galactic at, you can usually find it at a Rite Aid. They don't sell it at every Rite Aid, but you can find it at most Rite Aids. If you go to their website, just hit store locator, and then you can kind of see what stores are located in. I know in San Diego, they're only located in two Rite Aids here. So definitely check that website. I will link it down below for you guys. But I picked up a ton of products, and even though it's drugstore, I'm going to warn you guys. These are not drugstore prices. These are high-end prices. These were expensive, and I was really shocked that it was this expensive at the drugstore. So now let's just go ahead and go into the swatches and review of this haul. Okay, so for the first thing that I purchased is one of their lip glosses, and these retail for $18. And this one is called the Girlactic Star Gloss in Baby Doll. It is so pretty. It is what I'm wearing right now on my lips. Let me put some on. It is so pretty. It's not sticky. It wears really nicely. It's very pigmented, actually. I'm going to do a swatch on my hand for you guys as well. They kind of remind me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses that they have. So yeah, these are $18. They are pretty pricey, but I do have to say that it's a good quality lip gloss. I am loving it right now. I've been wearing it on my lips and it's super comfortable. So again, this is the color Baby Doll. Okay, so I also picked up two of their liquid lipsticks, of course, and the two colors I picked up are Demure and Allure. So this is Allure right here, 
It is a gorgeous dusty rose color, you guys. It is so, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous, perfect for fall. I have yet to wear these on my lips. I still have not had time to try these out on my lips, but I'm gonna be having a review of these in my brand review of, for liquid lipsticks. So I am going in and go, talking about a ton of different brands that do liquid lipsticks, and I'm gonna let you guys know the pros and cons of each liquid lipstick from every brand, ranging from drugstore to high end. But I have to say the colors are gorgeous. They already feel really nice on my skin, on my hand right now. I can tell that they're going to be pretty thin and I don't know if they're going to dry completely matte. I'm not entirely sure because right now as you guys can see there's still a glossy finish but, but maybe after it drying after some time it will dry matte so I will let you guys know in that review. And the next color is called Demure and I know this one's a popular one and this one has a little bit more brown tones in it. It is such a pretty color. It is kind of like another dusty rose, but it has more brown in it, as you guys can see. So I also picked up one of their lipsticks, and these retail for $22, and this color is called Naked. Let me swatch it. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is the prettiest color ever. It is the perfect nude. It's got some peachy undertones to it. The formulation of these are really nice, really creamy on the lips. I think they're formulated very well. Oh, such a pretty, pretty nude. Oh my goodness. I love this peachy nude. Okay. So I also picked up one of their eyeliner marker pens and it's the Girlastic Beauty Precise Eyeliner Marker in Black Noir. Noir? I don't know. Sorry. I used it today on my eyes and it was actually pretty easy to use. Oh, real quick. This is what the tip looks like right here. It is a pretty gnarly tip at the end of this liner. Oh my God, it's pretty gnarly, you guys. And as you guys can see, it doesn't leave like a shiny gloss finish. It dries matte. I think it was really easy to use. It retails for $20, you guys. So this is a $20 eyeliner at Rite Aid. It's pretty pricey. The Kat Von D one is $19, and I would say go get the Kat Von D one over this one because I still like that one better. I thought this was a good liner and it was easy to use, but I don't think it's as long wearing as Kat Von D. Like when you put Kat Von D, it doesn't move at all, all day. This one, I swatched it on my hand last night, and the second I like hopped into the shower last night, I noticed like one water drip went on and it instantly was like coming off like super easy. So I definitely recommend the Cap on D one, especially because it's also a dollar cheaper and I think it's a better eyeliner than this one. But I do recommend the Cap on D one over this one because one, it's $1 cheaper and I think it's a better product. It's more long wearing. I think this one's a little bit too easy to remove, but it is easy to apply and it is pretty black. So that's just my two cents on it. Yeah. All right, so next I picked up two blushes from the collection. And the first blush is called Florence. It is really, really pretty peachy color, you guys. It's right there. I am wearing it on my cheeks right now because I wanted to wear it and it is super pigmented. Oh my goodness. I did not think it was going to be this pigmented. And I put it on my cheeks and I was like, Oh, okay, I need to go back in there and blend this out. So it is a very pigmented blush. It goes on beautifully on the skin, you guys. I thought they were amazing blushes. And they are also pretty expensive. They are $19 for these blushes, but do I think it's worth it? Yes, because they are super pigmented. They go on the skin so beautifully. They blend beautifully. It is just a really good formulated blush. Oh my goodness, like there it is. Look how gorgeous and pigmented that blush is. It is so pretty. It is a really pretty kind of peachy toned blush. It is so gorgeous. Definitely think, I definitely think it's worth the $19. The next blush that I purchased is called Naples and it is really pretty too. Here it is right here. It is a really pretty light pink blush. This one has a bit of a sheen to it. So it's almost like a highlight in a way. It is really pretty. It's a light pink. Oh my goodness, there it is. Look how gorgeous that is. I would just mainly use this as a highlight or just a light swish on the cheeks just to kind of bring some glow to the skin. It is so gorgeous. And again, this is $19. They are so creamy, you guys. They are so blendable. They are extremely, extremely pigmented. I like these blushes. Okay, so now going on to the eyeshadows, I purchased eight of the eyeshadows and these retail for $19. These are pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but you do get quite a bit of product in these eyeshadows. The first eyeshadow that I picked up is called Bear. 
And this is a color that I put all over my lid when I first started my eye look today. It is a really pretty kind of just whitish cream shadow. It has no glitter to it, no sheen, no nothing. It's very matte. These are super pigmented, you guys. I don't know how well you're going to see this on my hand because I am so fair. So this is bare right here. You can kind of see it on my hand. It is a really pretty matte cream white shade. I think that they're gorgeous. You guys, they are super creamy eyeshadows. They are really pigmented. I do think it's worth it. And you guys can see right here of how big of a pan you get of these eyeshadows. So you do get quite a bit of product in it. And I think they are a great quality eyeshadow. The next color that I picked up is called a Ballet. And this is another really pretty eyeshadow right here. I wore this one in my crease. It is a really pretty kind of grayish purple. So gorgeous, so pigmented, like, oh my god. It is so pretty, you guys. They are super pigmented, so you have to be careful with that. Make sure that when you're doing a look, you kind of slowly build up on it because they're so pigmented, but they are so creamy too. I really, really like them. The next color is called Sable, and I didn't use this one today, but oh my god, you guys, this is a pretty color. There you go, right there. It is a gorgeous mocha brown. It is really pretty, and again, super, super pigmented. Oh my goodness, can you see that? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous brown. So pretty, it definitely is a cool toned brown. I think it's gorgeous, so that one is called Sable. The next color that I have is called Butter Shine, and it looks like this. Oh, it's always so hard with my nails. But this is another gorgeous color. This is a color that I'm wearing on my lid. It is a great inner corner color and it is also a really great brow bone color to really highlight. It is so pretty, you guys. It's right there underneath Sable. Just look at that sheen it has. It's a really pretty kind of like a white cream sheen. It is absolutely gorgeous. I put it on my lid today to keep it really like bright and flirty looking. I think it's so, so pretty. I love this color. <laughs> the next color that I got is called Suede. And this is another really pretty sheen color. This is more of a beigey tone sheen. Really, really pretty. It is kind of like a lighter brown. It's beige. It's beige, I tell ya. <laughs> yeah. It's a beige. As you guys can see, that is gorgeous. Another really gorgeous color to wear on the lid. I think it's very soft, very neutral, and it has just the most gorgeous sheen to it. I they are gorgeous eyeshadows. I'm just gonna keep saying it. They're pretty. The next color that I got is called Ivy. And I have to say that the reason why I picked this up is because I really want to start creating more earthy tone looks because those are in right now. And I just got that color Rebel from ColourPop as you guys saw from my ColourPop haul. So I picked this one up too. And this one is more of a sheen. Rebel is more of a matte, I believe. This one has more of a sheen green to it. As you can see, it's a really pretty olive green. So gorgeous. I am so ready to create an earthy tone makeup look. I think I'm going to do a tutorial on my channel of it. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But that's the green. Really, really pretty. <laughs> the next color that I got is called Mariposa. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, It's a very pretty, this is more of like a peachy orangish shade that has sheen in it as well. Oh, these are so pretty, you guys. So, so pretty. So as you guys can see, that one has more peachy tones in it compared to this one up here. This one is more of a beige or taupe. And then this one down here is more peachy. It is definitely a great shade if you like those more warmer tones. I think it's so pretty. I've been really getting into warm tones right now. I don't know why, but I've been really into them. So I think that's gorgeous. So that would be a really, really pretty color on the lid. And the last eyeshadow that I got is called Pearls. And this one looks like that. This is another gorgeous color. I put this one all over my crease as my transition shade. And this is just a really pretty kind of light, mauve purple. It's very cool toned. As you guys can see right here, it is super, super pretty. A very a light toned, purple, cool toned. Really gorgeous. I absolutely love putting this one in my crease. It is such a gorgeous color. And again, they blend out so nicely. They are so easy to use. So I absolutely love them. I know that they are pretty pricey at $19, but you do get a decent size eyeshadow for it. You're not getting just like a little small pan of it. You are getting a decently sized big pan of this eyeshadow. 
Okay, so that was everything that I purchased from Girlactic Beauty. You can go purchase these at Rite Aid, but be sure to check the website's store locator to see if they carried it in your Rite Aid. So definitely go check that out. They are definitely pretty pricey for drugstore. I don't know why it's sold in a Rite Aid, but it is pretty expensive, but the products are really good. The only product that I'm not really jumping over the moon for is the eyeliner, and it's because I compare it to my Kat Von D, and especially for that one being a dollar cheaper, you get a lot better of eyeliner for it and it's more longer wearing. This one I can tell is not as long wearing as the Kat Von D one. So that is my only thing about these products that I have purchased. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul slash review and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and if you're new be sure to subscribe so that way you guys will see when I post my brand review of liquid lipstick so that way you can see what I think about the Girlastic one. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe